Welcome to the GE Garage. We're here on our first international stop in Lagos, Nigeria, where we're exciting interest and appetite for things like 3D printing, material science, CNC milling, laser cutting, and even digging into the software side with things like Raspberry Pi. We're going to be working with everyone from entrepreneurs through to school children to teach them the basics of what does it mean for this hardware in the world? How is it impacting industry? GE is excited to be here in Nigeria with partners like the Dangote Foundation uh, to bring to life what it really means to have an entrepreneurial spirit. We're looking to excite and ignite that type of curriculum so that we can help elevate that conversation in Lagos. I think the GE garages will be beneficial to Nigeria and West Africa as a whole. The 3D printer is meant to bring the idea to life, at least to create the prototype before the person starts working on it. We've had just an unbelievable interest demonstrated toward this concept of garages, which is uh, really a pilot of a concept that uh, we're just now learning as a company but also um, really embracing it and incorporating it into what GE is all about. Leadership in technology, leadership in entrepreneurship, leadership in capacity building. The experience so far has been transformative in the sense that I've had the opportunity to um, use facilities that allow you to print um, quantities that you've developed you know, on your computer. And what this does is it allows you to essentially have access to world-class facilities that you naturally won't be able to have access to. I've been amazed and um, wowed by the creativity and technology that has been showcased. Just shows the vast um, knowledge and creativity and entrepreneurial opportunities that exist in our community and for our community. Just seeing the sheer number of people come through, entrepreneurs, undergraduates, secondary school students, innovators, people from co-creation hubs and the techie communities, people have come to talk about advanced manufacturing and the future of work. You know, we're setting the pace for how technology would influence manufacturing in the future, and it's amazing. 